What's going on fellow fanatics? Today it is just Q and Cody here and we have a little bit of different content set up for you guys instead of MCU or DC. Today we're gonna review one of HBO Max's highest grossing show that they've released in Euphoria. Cody, what'd you think of ba uh, just base thoughts of Euphoria? I think Euphoria as a whole show is honestly a work of art. It's got some of the most creative scenes in a TV series that I've ever seen. It hits home for some really rough areas with, with addiction, I mean, that I battle personally. I, I think it does a really good job at showing the duality of a person when they're in a really deep addiction like that. Like, I mean, how she, like, you see it, like, when she's yeah, about no, to do something sure. bad, the way she looks, and she does such a good job. She really gets to show off in this, and I love that for she her. She does, yeah. Because uh, when really, we, we review, like, MCU stuff, so we get a lot of her in Spider-Man and stuff, sure, which is, like, well, we don't uh, get to see her, honestly, like, express herself that much. That was my introduction to Zendaya. Yeah, 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 so it's like... Uh, and in the first movie, she's just not really... A yeah. I mean, she's there, but she's not really that much of a character. She's exactly, Spider-Man's yeah. crush. But like this, you really get to see how good of an actress she is. And yeah, she's, no. she's good. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character, I'd have to go with... I'd have to go with Fez. Just because yeah. the show portrayed his character to be so realistic in a way where like... He's that personality that, you know, that's not like the rest of everybody, you know? He's like an outlier that's Bro, like, he yeah. doesn't fuck with all the drama that they're putting out and shit, so well, it's like... His he's, upbringing is hard, too. Well, like, I mean... All, it's, all, it, uh, almost everyone in that show was, I mean, when you I'm, look I'm, at it. Are we doing full spoilers in this? Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen it by now... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you just gotta get on You that. probably shouldn't even be yeah. watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, you you yeah. probably aren't watching this video. <laughs> everyone talked about season one. We get to season two. What did you think of season two? Because I personally, I was a more of a fan of season one. I I don't like the way they made Sydney Sweeney the main focus of uh, season two. I don't like how the episodes near the end felt kind of rushed to me. I don't think they, I felt like the story could have been developed uh, a little better. I feel like they tried to extend it to where, spoiler alert, if you don't know, we will be getting a season three and everything. So I feel like they're trying to like extend it and it's a cash grab for season three. Like it could have been no, done in I season do, two. I do feel like season three is a cash grab and it could have been done in season two. I like season two though. You know, part of that is like the villains of the show really get to kind of shine here and you build some empathy for, I mean, for everyone. Literally every person in the show you, you have empathy for. You know, that's that's hard to do. Yeah, uh, it is. No, and they did a lot of that in season two. A lot of character depth in outside of Rue. In fact, I would say this season's really not about Rue. It's not. Uh, and, and that is kind of frustrating because you want it to be. Yeah, because in season one, we're introduced to her as like the main character and everything. But it is it is cool seeing everything go on around. I do like season one more, but I don't, I don't dislike season two. So you hear we're getting a season three, and if you remember how it ended with everything with Fez, Astray, even the end of the play, <sighs> how everything, what are you expecting to see in season three, or what would you want to see? Versus what, what uh, do you think that they're what gonna, I gonna do? See, what, what do I think and want to see in season three? First off, I really want to see Lexi's reaction to what happened to Fez. Mm -hmm. Even Rue's reaction. Ash, even Ash's character said that you know he might not be dead. So Ashtray was shot off camera. We heard the sound, right. and realistically, probably the cops killed him. But there's been no like formal confirmation. Do you know no. for a fact that he's dead? For a fact, no, not I don't know for a fact that he's dead. It's um. It's just kind of left up in the air for now. And if if there's one person that can survive being shot, it's definitely Astro because he's he's one badass kid at the end of the day. Well, not even just Lexi. Imagine I, I, how I Rue's going to react. You know, she's no, she's Rue's, just Rue's, now Rue's starting to get tough. a little better. Uh, she's not on drugs anymore. Well, I don't know where she would go besides just drew a thought to me. Maybe she does go back to drugs because exactly, of this. Exactly, because mean, Ash, Ash, Ash might be dead. He should be from what we're knowing. Yeah, well, Fez, Fez, Fez is going to go to jail. Sure going to jail. You know, that's something hard to take. It's I, like another loss or something. I think the only way almost. that Fez might get out of this is, you know, Ash is dead now. and, and I mean, unless any way they take it into consideration. But so is the what? only other witness besides, because Ash, I mean, Ash I mean, killed Faye was there and they still might have Faye, on Faye Mike was not there Faye said. In the first in the first murder. Who, why they're there? Because of no, 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 I'm just saying they might take That's what they arrested. said into consideration whenever she was on the mic trying to pin it on. Who was the older lady's name who uh, gave Rue the drugs and everything to sell? Is Forgot it her name. Be a lot heavier on her. It without a doubt should. Be. Uh, what I mean, is it her should be because name? she owes her quite a bit of money. Yeah, ten thousand. Uh, they already tried to sell her once. Yeah, and I think they're gonna try to get her again. 
you think that's something they're going to go towards in season three? You know, I, I mean, it's something that I feel like they might go towards. I really, what I want to see is I want to see more of Gino in season three. I want to see the effects of. I mean, they've talked about it a lot about how how hard this must be on Gina. Yeah. And they've shown little glimpses into it, but they haven't really done deep dives like they have on like Cassie or or Lexi or Fez or I, I mean any like literally Nate. I mean yeah, literally. No, I, I was gonna say I'm I'm excited for Nate's story because you know points in the show where you really hate him and then there's points in the show where you're like you're like okay I understand where you're coming from no, and well, he's trying and, and to do the right thing. There's also points and, in the show where I'm like I I hope he gets the piece that, well, that, that he's yeah well you know it's for. hard like once you already get painted as this bad guy it's hard to go and do something good and then everyone well i can't imagine doing that so. to, to your own dad too i mean and then, then like growing up like resenting him i mean as terrible as things that he's done no he Myers. did some he no he did uh, some fucked up shit in this show i mean even him he, he, nate's dad you start feeling some empathy towards no him. you do yeah like i mean the guy's been living a lie essentially his whole life and that is bound to break your psyche Eventually, in a small like, town, you know, everyone's I, now, not saying it justifies you. his actions. I'm just saying that you, no, yeah, you, no. you get to kind of relate, not relate, but like understand, you empathize, understand, empathize yeah, with you, him. you yeah. understand more, more. And I mean, with Nate, like especially when you first meet him in season one, you really hate him. Yeah. <laughs> but this, like, I mean, there's such a good storyline for him that, that you really see where all this hate comes from is from the pain that that's been in him since he was a child yep. that he's Fam held. Family, I mean, he's yeah. carried. That burden of knowing what he's known, which was knowing that his dad was was videotaping fucking. Well, he finds out he has and, dreams and, about uh, it. Well, uh, we find out he has he dreams, dreams about that his it. dad's yeah, fucking. Like, he's a kid. That's yeah, crazy. They, like, I mean, that's some really fucked up. And shit. And that's also uh, he needs to be in therapy. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> that's something that will kind of bridge us into like one of the final questions. And this show is one of the most it has some of the most extreme writing I've ever seen in terms of going into addiction. I've never seen a show that'll show the sex scenes it goes. Just everything written about I well, feel like I it's mean, so the, the extreme. The go around scene with Cassie. Yeah, like, the, I mean, yeah that, stuff that like that. Drugs. Like, I mean, so, uh, I mean that, that's that's a really that's a real thing that can happen. Yeah, like, I mean, so you it's just like lose uh, yourself. Uh, what would uh, would you expect season three to be as extreme as season one and two have been? You think they're gonna kind of? You know, <laughs> now that it's either gonna be now that they've got their money. And it's everything. either gonna go. I, I feel like the HBO producers are pushing for a season three, maybe a lot more than the writers of Euphoria. I don't, I'm speculating here. That's, that's no. a complete opinion. I don't feel like Euphoria's writers are gonna let it just die off. If yeah, that's no. kind of what, what you mean. I, I think that they are gonna bring us. At least a compelling story in season three. There's there's still a lot more to tell. Like I said, I mean, we got Rue, we got the drug dealer. It's like, I uh, I personally think in season three, they'll, uh, I think they're just going to keep doing what they're doing and go, they're going to go grab as much money as they can because I think for that's sure. really what it is for everyone, to be honest. Even though it is a good show and everything, it's going to have good moments. I think they do care more so about the money now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any final thoughts on Euphoria or anything? Uh, no, I mean, I, I do get what people are saying about the show, though. In a way, I do feel like it has become, like, over-sexualized. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This stuff does happen. <laughs> no, it's it's, uh, it's real. I mean, some so of it's, it's real. Even though it's, like, drastically fake because it's a show, some of it is no, real. No, why not? I just graduated a couple years ago, and I can tell you, high, yeah. high schoolers are, are having For sex. Sure. <laughs> sure. 100% yeah. without a doubt. And they're doing it a lot, so I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you are new here, I think that's all we have. If you're new here, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. You know, what was your favorite scene in season two of Euphoria? Or what do you expect to see in season three? Is there you know? anything else that you want us to cover that's outside of the realm of, of superhero stuff? Yeah, any like, HBO Max shows, Netflix. I would talk about Ted Lasso for days. Anything. <laughs> Cody and I do this. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for your time, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.